You know, Paul, I've been thinking about this two picks, and I see the numbers. I'm starting to think it may be one of the biggest and greatest drugs of all time, and yet people are just discovering it. Can you talk about all the possible manifestations of this wonder drug? You know, it's for me at least, I've been in the industry a long time. This is a once in a generational medicine. I talk to patients, I talk to doctors about the benefits that this medicine brings. Uh, we're privileged to be working with it. Um, we go from COPD, asthma, atopic dermatitis, chronic spontaneous urticaria, esophagitis. We're pushing on the type two inflammatory diseases. And a lot of these patients are really struggling with overlapping illnesses. And not only that, a many amazing efficacy, but incredible safety profile. That's why we're seeing it grow over 70%, even during a pandemic, because physicians are happy to start it for patients who really need it because they know it's safe, they know it's incredibly effective. And we think it's game changing for those patients and indeed ultimately for the company. I think that people, when they hear monoclonal antibody, they want to know, well, how is this made? This is actually, what, a, a synthetic drug, and your uh, partner Regeneron. But it seems like that each, each month there's some new thing that this thing works for. That's not the way we're used to seeing drugs. Is, is it like a living, breathing organism that goes after different things? You know, we follow the science and we look at the patient need and we talk to those patients with autoimmune diseases and challenges from an immunology perspective. And as we keep exploring and opening up these new patient populations, we can really help. And we're willing to step in and do the work. I mean, it's just so important that we can transform these lives. So we just keep pushing forward. You know, I told you, I get letters every day about somebody's life that's been transformed somewhere by this medicine. And we're just getting started. And when you think about its role in our transformation, when you think about the rest of our pipeline coming in behind and how 80% of it's going to be best or first in class, we're really building something here. You know, and we're adding to it, um, you know, in terms of our acquisitions last year, building out immunology. So we really think we're going to have what patients need going forward and importantly, really helping to transform this great company. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.